Cross country tires. We're fortunate in South Africa to have a lot of different options available from a lot of different brands. There's unique casings, compounds, sizes, weights and tread patterns to choose from. The differences are sometimes subtle. On the trail, the performance characteristics can be less so. In this gear show, Tom Rutt and I are going to ride some of the options from six different brands. We're going to examine the tech and help point you in the right direction to choose the right tire for whatever cross-country mission you may be on. Before we start, let's just define cross-country. It's a category that includes XCO lap format, marathon racing, stage racing, adventure riding, ultra endurance and Sunday mates racing. In short, it's the up, the down and all around town. Right, let's pay some bills. This video is proudly sponsored by Euphoria Telecom, the providers of South Africa's leading cloud-based business phone and contact center solution. Make the right call and contact Euphoria today for great savings without a long-term contract. Quick tip, if you're cutting tires often, you probably need to either go up on your pressure, move to a bigger volume tire, or move to a tire with more sidewall protection. The Pirelli Scorpion range has been around for a little over two years now, but it's already been featuring on World Cup podiums. This is the 2.2 size that I'm riding. It's the hard terrain option for wet or dry, and this tire weighs 712 grams. It's got a nice profile when fitted to these 30 millimeter inner diameter rims. It is also available in 2.4. Uh, the knobblies are low profile, tightly packed, and angled and siped, all angled and siped differently. So, very impressive rolling speed on these Pirellis. The grip on hard pack is very good. And it's actually quite a supple feel on the casing too. I think this tire suits riders who link hard pack trails with stretches of tar. Um, if you're uh, looking for an all condition race tire from Pirelli, the 2.4 XCRC, which is just launched, is going to be a good option. Um, I'm very impressed with these Pirellis, great tires. The Recon Race from Axis is the biggest volume tire on test show at 2.4 inches wide and also the heaviest at 754 grams. Having said that, the EXO protection adds 60 grams of weight to the tire but gives you that extra reassurance in sidewall support and uh, protection for your rim. The tread pattern is a very short, low profile block tread pattern that covers the entire tire with an intermediate knob between the shoulder knobs and the center rolling tread pattern to give you a nice transition onto the shoulder knobs through corners. On racetracks, it's often used as a rear tire because of the exceptional rolling speed. It can definitely work on the front on hard packed terrain where grip is not of paramount importance. Most of our SA races are located on district roads and hard packed trails where these tires excel. It's ideal for rim sizes between 25 to 30 millimeters and available from 2.25 inches right up to 2.4 inches wide. Maxxis is probably the most popular original equipment spec tire on the market from most bicycle brands at the moment and with good reason. They offer exceptional durability, great sidewall support and competitive weights across the entire range. The Recon Race is their fastest rolling tyre, which is great for hard packed terrain. If you wanted a little bit more grip for looser conditions, you could offer the standard Recon with slightly taller knobs or even the, the Maxxis Ardent and Ardent Race, which offer a different tread pattern with more grip and different casing with options. The Continental is more of an all-rounder, offering a little more grip in loose and wet. The weight is 753 gram, and the tread pattern I think you could describe as slightly taller center knobblies which are spaced a little bit further apart. They're almost rectangular in shape and angled in a way to improve directional support. Standout feature is Continental's in-house black chili compound which is a mixture of natural and synthetic rubbers used in tread patterns which in this case is tuned to balance rolling speed with grip. It's a 180 TPR tire. Continental Cross Kings, great tire in the wet loose conditions and the dry obviously it doesn't have the same rolling speed as a dry specific tire but I'm really impressed with the grip and the muddy sloppy stuff. If you live in areas where there's a lot of mud and slop particularly say KZN and um, Pumalanga area this is a great tire to consider for light trail riding and a little bit of XC playtime. Specialized recently released their fast track and renegade tires Weight is 685 grams for the fast track and 680 grams for the Renegade rear tire. The fast track is a block inside block tread which offers multi-directional siping and boosts grip. 
The tire has fewer knoblies that are slightly taller and spaced further apart. Whereas the Renegade on the rear here has more knoblies with a lower profile. The center tread line has no siping and that's what gives you that outright straight line speed. The shoulder treads are also pretty small. Specialized has undoubtedly produced fantastic tires in the past, having been won many World Cups in the Specialized Riders. The Specialized Fast Track and Renegade that we're testing offer unique characteristics in each tire. The Fast Track being the slightly more aggressive, taller knobs, better as a front tire, especially over loose over hard pack conditions and hard pack conditions. The Renegade giving you that little bit more speed, certainly preferable as a rear tire because of the rolling speed and slightly less traction. But as a combination, what more could you want? Quick tip, if you find that you're damaging or breaking rims from impacts, it's a good idea to run some kind of foam insert like Nino does, run a higher pressure in the tire, or go for a bigger volume casing that offers you a little bit more protection. So the Bontrager XR2s, another World Cup winning tire. This is a 2.2, but it's also available in a 2.35. These weigh 701 grams. It's a dual compound rubber with nylon sidewall inserts to improve sidewall strength. The tread pattern, low center tread, shaped to prioritize rolling speed, but it's also siped for maximum climbing grip and braking. Um, there are two lines of transition knobs before the corner knobs, and they're siped to improve corner bite and directional support. If you're looking for additional corner support, then you could try Bontrager's XR3, which has a slightly beefier shoulder knob. So the XR2s by Bontrager, they do everything really well and I'd recommend it for just about any XE mission. Handles wet or dry well, hard pack and loose surfaces. Climbing grip's pretty good, rolling speed is good. And I think that's because of the block, the, rec the square style block tread pattern that it's got. This 2.2 actually sits quite nicely on a wider rim, um, but for rocky trails, you might want to try the 2.35. German tire manufacturer Schwalbe offers an exceptional cross-country racing combination in the Racing Ray for the front and the Racing Ralph for the rear. The Racing Ray offers rectangular shaped knobs which are offset and lined for speed and direction support while still offering exceptional corner bite on the shoulder. The Racing Ralph on the rear, however, offers rear wheel specific knobs laid across the trick pattern to aid in uh, climbing traction and accelerating traction. Weights are a competitive 723 and 731 grams. This is the lightest taste casing option known as the Super Race, and the Attic Speed compound gives you maximum durability with fast rolling um, in this natural sidewall option. The Racing Ray offers that outright straight line speed with extra grip when you lean the front over in the, corner, in the corners. The Racing Ralph offers knobs laterally positioned that act as paddles scooping up the terrain as you climb up a climb or try and get more traction when you're braking. The Attic Speed compound also offers Exceptional wear resistance, much more durable than some of their older, older compounds. Schwabi's created a winner in both the Racing Ray and the Racing Ralph, in my opinion. The most important tip is check your pressures every time you ride, as tires lose pressure overnight. If you've got any questions on XE tires, pop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, see you on the trails.